So if you guys were to stop seeing me post about Britney randomly or suddenly change my stance, that would probably mean someone gave me a lot of fuck you money. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you money. I don't need to fucking do this bullshit. I don't need to fuck around with all of you. I, I'm rich, bitch. I paid off my debts and then some. So on one point, maybe be happy for me. Like, I got some fuck you money now. But also, yeah, that, that would be what it is. The way I would analyze that would be like, oh, someone paid her off. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I say this just because um, it's something I'm always wary of when I watch people and stuff. It's like, you ever watch a show and you're like, oh my god, they jumped the shark. And that's like a phrase from Happy Days when literally Fonzie jumped the fucking shark. It's when a show takes such a narrative digression. Like, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? If you have that reaction to a show like the ending of How I Met Your Mother, don't, don't even get me started. I can go on seven videos about that, okay? Really? How I Met Your Mother writers? How I Met Your Mother, um, they had an idea. They wanted it always to be Robin. That was the premise. Originally, when the show was supposed to get canceled in season two with um, Ted's girlfriend, Victoria, it would have made a lot of sense. You know, and I think Victoria was the mother and it ends up he's in love with Robin. But if you go on for like 10 years, you need to change it up, my fella. And there are two guys who wrote it, by the way. You you guys, what they try to do is they had an A and a C route. And they just they forgot everything in the fucking middle and just they wanted to connect the two dots. You can't do that in writing. But you also can't do that in life. Good writing mimics good life. Anything ever random ever happens in your life, it's not for nothing. You know, sometimes there are random things, you know, that you can't fix. But when people digress, that doesn't happen for nothing, you know. So, yeah, if I were to just suddenly change my shift, I got some fuck you money, you know. So, fuck you guys. It's, it has to be enough money for me to be like, fuck TikTok, fuck all this. I'm so fucking rich. I don't need to make content. Do I make a cent off of this? No, do I hope one day to make a cent off this? Obviously, of course. It also has to be enough money for me to throw away my personal or my morals. Um, I don't follow people's morals. I follow my own code of conduct. And if that has to be a lot of fuck you money for me to be like, yeah, no, fuck me. I'm a person that if I said it, then I fucking meant it. I don't say things unless I mean them, you know? I don't say things just to hurt people's feelings. I don't say things just to get famous. I don't say things. So it's a lot of fucking money if that happens, okay? And people who are considering it, instead of shadow banning me, maybe make me an offer of some fuck you money, yeah? A lot of fuck you money, though. Turns out I have a very strong code of conduct. Who knew, you know? I didn't. I will literally do something just to, because I'm like, well, that that's wrong. I saw a little boy once walking with his mama and this little boy's shoe fell off. And I saw him look back and I saw the fear and sadness in his eye. And like, it's, it's a little bit weird. I grabbed that shoe and I chased down that fucking mom and her kid. And she was fucking terrified. She's like, what? What do you want? She's about to hit me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. your kid left his shoe. So a lot of fuck you money because that's the type of person I am. OK.